No sewing machine? No problem, because for the price of a pack of Oreos at the store, you, yes you, can make your clothes look amazing on you. I'm SD, and boy oh boy do I hate those long intros where they're all like, make sure you subscribe and click the bell notification, blah 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 blah. Let's do this. We use our hands for a lot of different things. Instagram, Snapchat, Facebook. Who am I kidding? Nobody uses Facebook. Facebook is for anti-vaxxers and people who think that essential oils are gonna cure their grandparents of their pancreatic cancer. And we use our hands for, well, hand sewing because you can do every single thing. You can tailor every single thing that you could normally tailor on a sewing machine by just sewing with your hands. Let's, uh, let's, let's get our stuff. We need a hand sewing kit and that really just consists of, well, a hand sewing needle and some thread. Oh, I have no desire to go through all this stuff and figure out where my hand sewing needles are. Luckily, I, uh, well, I just did this. I bought the one that you just saw at, uh, at Target. So, I don't gotta go through any of this stuff. And I also wanna say that this is good for, like, basic things like repairs and t-shirts. And if you wanna do anything that's a little bit more robust or a little bit more expensive, you can upgrade this guy for five bucks, something like that, and then you'll be good. So this one is, what, what was it, like $2.99, $2.89? Upgrade for another $10 and you will be mm, mm, good to go. Now the reason why we are learning hand sewing is for one of two reasons. One, not everybody has like 50 to $100 just lying around waiting to go drop it on a new sewing machine. Like, I, I totally get that. And two, not everybody has space for a sewing machine. That's why I sew on a stool, because that's the most convenient thing for my family and I space-wise. Let's, uh... Let's learn our stitches. The running stitch. This is just a basic, normal, straightforward stitch that runs straight and it goes up and down between your garment. And I have no idea why they call it a running stitch. I don't know. I don't make executive decisions in the sewing community, okay? And now that you learned that stitch, completely forget it because you don't want to use it. It's not a strong stitch at all. It is incredibly weak. It'll break on you and it's just, nah, I just don't, don't. If you use a running stitch to take in the sides of your t-shirt or even slim your jeans and then you go out to the club at night thinking you're going to look all fly in your new tailored outfit, I've, uh, I've got some bad news for you. You might look fly for like seven minutes until those stitches just go poof. But oh, ho, ho, hang on for a second. This next stitch, this next one is actually legit. It's super strong and it'll work great for hand sewing. And it is known as the back stitch. Now the back stitch is gonna be similar to a back stitch on a sewing machine, except that it's, it's not really at all, now that I think about it. Do you remember in the movie, The Interview, where she was all like, we different, but same, same. It's, <laughs> it's, it's kind of like that. Now what you do for a back stitch is instead of continuously going forward like you would with a running stitch, what you do is you loop your thread back through that previous stitch that you just made, and then you go forward. Now the back stitch and the running stitch are probably gonna look really similar to you if you look at the front of your garment, but uh, looks can kind of be deceiving a little bit because if you look at the back of it, you're gonna see that that back stitch has a bunch of little loops on there and that, that right there is what makes it just, ooh, so secure and strong and you're not gonna embarrass yourself in public. It's great. The slip stitch. I don't know, that was me trying to like, trying to personify like slipping on the ground, I think. It was like a spur of the moment thing. I don't know, maybe I'll, maybe I'll edit this out. Hopefully I remember that. I'd like to tell you that I'm shocked sitting here in a Spider-Man costume eating Oreos on camera, but I mean, with all the other changes that have happened in my life over the last like year, this, this doesn't even really like hold a candle in the wind to that. Now the slip stitch is actually really cool because when it's done correctly, it's pretty much invisible. And it also does a really good job of providing you with another added layer of extra protection on your new scene. Who's got two thumbs and doesn't have to worry about your shirt ripping in public when you hand stitch it? You and me, it's both of us. What you can do is if you're tailoring a shirt by hand, you can use it to seal those raw edges after you use a running stitch to take in those side seams. <laughs> I was making sure you were paying attention because you don't you don't want to use a running stitch, remember? You want to use a back stitch. I feel like the significant other is going to come downstairs and see me sitting here in a Spider-Man costume eating Oreos on camera and be like, yep, that's uh, 
It's my boyfriend. For a slip stitch, after you take in the sides by hand, what you want to do is you want to leave yourself with a decent amount of a seam allowance. And if you don't know what a seam allowance is, you can just go watch that. Take that edge and fold it over in twice on itself. Once so that your first fold is going to line up right on top of that stitch. And then you're going to fold it over again so that your stitch is at the very top. Hang on, hang on, hang on. I want to read this <laughs> this comment uh, on camera. This is one of the funniest comments that I've gotten. So this guy, he got into tailoring and he said it was funny when he was describing to his grandmother how and why a large black man with an awesome positive attitude was the reason why he got into um, taking her sewing machine. I'm imagining that conversation going down like, Grandma! Where are your sewing machine at? Why? Because this gigantic, attractive black man told me it'll make me look better in my clothes. <laughs> Take your thread and thread it lengthwise through that fold, and then you're gonna come out and you're gonna go down into your fabric and you're gonna come back up, and then you're gonna thread it lengthwise through that fold again. So it's gonna be kind of like this. You're gonna go lengthwise through that fold for a good amount of distance, and then you're gonna come out and you're gonna go through the fabric and you're gonna go back up. And then you're gonna go lengthwise, and you're gonna come down and go back up. Gotta keep that bottom stitch as small as you can make it. When you go through the front of your fabric, keep that part small. And then when you're in the fold, you wanna make it not, it's not proportional, but you get you get the point. Rinse and repeat until that edge is sealed. And when you're done on the front of it, you should barely notice any fabric at all. It's kind of sort of invisible. And remember that, remember that slip stitch because we are gonna use it to hem some dress pants, AKA a, a blind hem. Let's tailor some stuff by hand like it's 1862. Four score and seven years ago. H hang on, hang on a second, hang on. Why didn't anyone think it was a good idea to tailor this shirt before you had me stand on stage and address all these people? I'm trying to free the slaves right now. They think I look ridiculous. I mean, come on, guys. You know what? You're fired. You're taking his spot. You're going into slavery now. How you like them apples? Maybe I should take that back. Someone's probably going to assassinate me for that. Uh, <laughs> this is what I do when everybody goes to bed. SD out deuces!